I currently hold the position of Director of Client Services and Purchasing for uh, Performance Management Group, which is a privately held company out of Bloomington, Minnesota. And my role within the organization is to help our clients that we provide third-party purchasing services to, um, to set strategy, measure outcomes, and provide any type of contracting advice, um, and then manage on my end, um, on our back end, the internal process. I do also work with the client to manage their supply base uh, and include implementations and negotiation of any agreements where it's applicable. I have to say that in this particular economy, uh, the risk is increasing. Um, however, I believe that risk is risk no matter what the economy is, and uh, all organizations need to prepare to mitigate that. However, primarily, there is a contraction of the supply base in certain commodities and regions. Um, last, let me give you an example of that. Last summer, when the per barrel oil, pr oil prices pretty much soared, to over $100 a barrel, um, suppliers really immediately started asking to pass through price increases for uh, commodities that make up their value chain. However, since the barrel oil price has come down um, and the credit supply has gotten limited, um, they've come back and pretty much offered to rescind some of those particular price increases from last summer. And I think this really again, like I said, was based on the limited credit supply and contraction within the supplier base and also for the customers of our clients because the majority of our clients are automotive retail dealerships. Um, in addition to that, they've offered, with regard to the stimulus and the TARP program that have been implemented by the current administration, there are concerns, and we do have definite concerns, um, that we have another economic wave coming, uh, which is inflation. Now, the strategies that we have tried to put in place to mitigate this, as most supply chain um, professionals would, are trying to manage commodity pricing, uh, protection, and hedging against any type of inflationary uh, forecast. And we're looking potentially at the back end of um, 2009, early 2010, for potential price increases due to inflation. Now, um, many of our suppliers, as I said before, are facing these funding issues because credit's tight, um, and that is shrinking the choices available to us as supply chain uh, management organizations, and some of our clients are requiring extended payment cycles. So, for instance, instead of asking for a 210 net 30, um, for discounts for early payment, we might potentially move to asking for net 45 through the end of um, 2010. Um, and we are advising all of our clients to renegotiate everything, uh, including any type of fees associated with banking, anything that they have interest rates on, trying to get additional cash flow because, you know, as everyone's saying, cash is king at this point. And would you have any final words to say about uh, supply chain risk management um, and any um, innovative um, approaches for dealing with, with the risks? Well, one of the approaches that we've taken recently, particularly when it comes to oil-based uh, product, for instance, we do a lot with hazardous waste uh, pickup and oil purchases. So what we've tried to do is peg a baseline price and then adjust 3% either, don't adjust the price until we're at 3% of either side of that number. So as the barrel of oil price goes up, the oil companies that pick up the oil and pay revenue for that oil, we attempt to not constantly be in the adjustment phase. So everyone's pretty much agreed that as long as it doesn't go up, you know, 3% or down 3%, it's going to maintain that particular baseline. And that's something that we pretty much brought over to this industry from the home building industry, which is what they do for lumber over there. Oh, okay. um, right. And so then the other thing is is that we deal with a lot of um, automobile dealerships who do not have purchasing as a primary core function in their, uh, I guess, within their organization. So really helping them to establish particular purchasing processes and understanding how to do purchasing, I think, is very uh, 
key primary for mitigating that risk because it's very easy sometimes when purchasing is not your core function to not be protected in inflationary times, particularly from uh, price increasing and um, let's just put it this way, non-price increases or contractual management. Because in good times, in good economic times, suppliers will normally adjust their contract to meet the need. But in tight economic times, they are trying to hold everyone to the letter of the contract, and that's really a difficult uh, position to organizations in.